Mark Oldman here in the big time. Yes, big time Napa Valley, one of the biggest, baddest wine regions of the world at St. Superi, one of the biggest, most venerable vineyards and, and wineries actually in the vineyard here around and at an extremely big time of the year, arguably the biggest time of the year, and that is harvest time. In fact, check this out. These are pre-harvest grapes, delicious, sweet, sun-nurtured, ripened, dappled grapes right here. Hmm. And I'm here to tell you about bigness. I'm here to tell you that bigness counts, especially when it comes to enchanting your guests and having fun. Everyone thinks these so-called large format bottles are necessarily very expensive or so rare that they're unattainable, but I'm here to tell you that you, even if you're a casual drinker, you should make a big bottle that is a Magnum or even larger, um, Jeroboam for example, part of your wine drinking life. because. Not only are they visually impressive, and I tell people um, they remind me of a supermodel in IMAX. You just look at it, and it, you know, even though the, uh, this Magnum is the equivalent of two regular bottles, it looks like it holds even more wine. That's just the effect of the Magnum. And then, while they are attainable, and you will find them at your local wine store, they're still fairly rare. So they just impress people. They're agents of rarity and, and brilliance, this kind of colossal feel. And all that kind of combines together so when you serve it at a cocktail party or when you are in a restaurant, people are, are flattered. They, they think that, you know, they're worthy enough for you to serve something like this. It's also, when someone buys a large format bottle, they're clearly making a purchasing decision to share. This is not the sort of bottle I'm going to be, you know, in that little room with one light bulb drinking by myself. And if I am, well, let's call the authorities on me. Anyway, another advantage of big bottles is in the small amount of wine that actually gets better with age, like, like a great Cabernet Sauvignon, um, wine in big bottles matures more slowly. But that's not something you really have to worry about right now. What I want to tell you about is the communal uh, uh, aspect of drinking big and drinking from, from big wines. Neil deGrasse Tyson in my book, The Astrophysicist, said that drinking big bottles it's like the wine equivalent of breaking bread, and I think that puts it beautifully. Anyway, I'm Mark Oldman, here from St. Supri Winery at harvest time in glorious Napa Valley. Drink bravely, drink big, and push it.